Would you like to learn how to make this spinning five-pointed star quilt block for your quilt or project? Stick around and I'll show you how. Hi, welcome back to part two of making this five-pointed star quilt block. Um, let's get ready to go. All right, for this next section, we're going to trim up our pieces and prepare for the next step. Um, A1 and A2 actually don't need anything but a trim in this case. So you start by folding it, and then you're gonna cut a quarter inch away from the fold on the back. So I'm gonna lay this down and get rid of that because I would hate to cut through my cord there. And I'm gonna lay it so that the quarter inch Mark is along the fold and I'm going to take my cutter here and I'm going to give it a cut Then when I open it I'm Flip it over and finger press this Huh, I need more space right there and finger press this to the outside So it looks like that Okay now A is complete. Next piece is A2. We're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna fold it. Before we cut it, let's just check and make sure that we have enough space all the way around, right? I'm gonna place my ruler down so that I have a quarter inch seam allowance beyond the fold. Then I'm gonna cut this away. Then I'm gonna unfold my paper, flip it over, going to unfold my fabric and I'm going to make sure that seam is all the way open and finger press it. Okay, so that's my opposite side, right? This is A1 and A2 and those two are almost done actually. I'm just going to set them aside because I don't have any more sewing to do on them just yet. Here's part B. We're going to fold it along that first seam line. I'm going to take our ruler, measure a quarter inch away from the seam, cut away that excess. I'm going to open up the paper, flip it over, and we're going to open up the seam all the way up. Take a look at it. So the orange is behind the orange and the yellow is behind the yellow. Okay. Now, before we walk away from this, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for the next piece. And the next piece is gonna be two, so I'm gonna fold that over and see, my excess stitches have me pulling this paper a little tight. It's okay. Just gently pop those seams to the fold and you're ready to go. So we're gonna fold on the second seam and then I like to take my ruler and go ahead and trim away A quarter inch away from the fold. So I've cut away the seam allowance at my number two seam line. Scroll fabric, the scroll gray, is what's uh, coming up next. So I'm just going to fold this over. I'm going to get a piece of scroll fabric and I'm going to try to place this in such a way that I have at least a quarter inch all the way around my folded face down piece of paper which is another rhombus, and I want to have it lined up with my seam that's already cut. Okay, so this is lined up with my seam that's already cut, and let's check. This is right at, you know, a quarter inch, so I'm not super comfortable with that. I'm going to put my thumb right here so I can peek under here, and I've got a lot of room here, so I'm going to slide it here to the left. Um, about a quarter inch there that's more comfortable so this edge is lined up I've got more than a quarter inch here about three-eighths of an inch more than a quarter inch more than a quarter inch I'm gonna put my thumb right here so I can peek underneath and I've got more than a quarter inch there so I'm all lined up I'm gonna open up my page and I'm gonna put a pin in here I'm only gonna put 
a single pin in because I can line this up right before I sew it with the edge. So that's my second point of alignment. We're going to do the same thing with parts C, D, and E. So the first thing we do is have the yellow side up, fold it over, cut away the excess seam allowance. So we'll line up the quarter inch mark on the fold, cut away the excess, Gonna open up our paper, flip it over, open up our, our fabric, make sure it's all the way open as well. Mm -hmm. Turn it back over. I'm going to rotate it. I need to scroll. This layer is going to be all scroll because we're doing all the same side. I'm going to fold on the number two seam. You can see that my fabric is pulled up here. So I'm going to just gently pop those seams out until I can lay the fold flat. I'm going to take my ruler. Put the quarter inch line on the fold, cut away the excess, you just scroll piece that's big enough to cover this and it is not. So I'm going to move to my next piece here. Let's see if we can get a piece that I can line up with an edge and have at least a quarter inch. I'm going to slide this down a little bit because I have plenty of fabric. That looks pretty good. Possibly a little wasteful. Let's try this way. Nope, that's the way we're going to need to go, I believe. Yep, that's the way we're going to need to go be safe. So we're at a quarter inch on this side because we're lined up. We're secure. Then this is the shape, this part that's face down. I'm not worried about this sticking up because it's face up so it's not going to need that coverage. I'm going to put my fingernail right there at the fold. Check and see how much fabric I have. Plenty. I can see I have plenty here. I can see I have plenty here and I have plenty here. So all I need to do is to make sure that I have at least a quarter inch on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and give myself um, a half an inch. That was not a straight cut. <laughs> no matter, no matter. Let's stick a pin in there. Part D, yellow, fold towards the yellow. Use my ruler, cut my seam allowance, open up the paper, and open up the fabric. Finger press, finger press, finger press. Go to the number two seam line. I'm going to pop these threads out of the paper very gently because I don't want to destroy the paper. I still need it, right? Just gently pop that. Fold on the green line. Take your ruler. Just move that well out of the way so I don't accidentally cut it. Line up the quarter inch line on the fold. Cut away your excess. Get a scroll. Maybe this, this might fit on this one. Oh, I think it might fit. So face up on the scroll. And I'm going to line this up on that line. And this is going to be a little close. See this right here? That's a little close. That's a little close. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to put this piece. Hmm. <laughs> I only have one more piece after this. So. I'm going to, I think, put this piece on this way and 
going to put my half an inch beyond this line here. And I'm going to give myself two marks so that I can cut this without cutting my paper. Cut here and up there. I'm going to move my paper. I'm going to join these two marks. I'm going to cut this away so I can save as much. Then I'm going to line this up again. Scooch it down. I want to make sure that I have more than half an inch there. Got more than half an inch there. Got more than half an inch there. So good. I can double check here. I'll put my so I put my fingernail here. Check that out. It's fairly close, but still okay. It's 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 more uh, buffer than I had before. Here I could do this as well. It'll give me a little more. All right. Open it up. Put a pin in it. Last one. Y side down. Yep, for yellow. Open that up. Cut away the excess. It's not what I needed. Open up the paper, open up the seam. Fold down on the green if it's lifting up. Gently pop those stitches away from the paper so you can flatten the seam out. Use your ruler, line up the quarter inch line on the fold, and cut. Open up. Hmm. Okay. Last piece of scroll. Remember, it's going to be face up. We're going to line up edges. I'm going to give myself a little marks about a half an inch away from that. Gonna move this out of the way, give her a cut, see. Place my shape back on there, lining up my seam allowance on the left hand side at the moment. Let's scooch her down. See that was pretty close. Let's move her down. So I've got about half an inch, I've got about half an inch. Here's where I need to check. I've got way more than half an inch. And that is three points of this triangle. I need a pin, I need to open it up and give her a pin. Now I'll take this to the machine and I'll sew each one of these lines as well, starting a quarter inch away and finishing a quarter inch ish beyond. And I'll be back. Okay, we're back to the sewing machine, and now we're going to sew the first background piece onto B, C, D, and E. So here's B. Um, again, I like to start in the middle of the page instead of on the edge of the page. So I'm going to start again about a quarter inch away from the seam. And I'm going to start stitching. And I'm trying to stay on top of the green line. I'm going to keep stitching. A quarter inch or more away because I'm off the edge of the paper, right? Then C. In all cases, we're sewing up the green line now, starting a little in front of that green line. Stitching right on top. Here's D. You might notice that I have placed the pins parallel to the, I just, I'm holding the fabric. I'm not pinning across the line, so I don't have to worry about taking them out as I go, because they're not in my path. Okay, a little in front, a little in back, and E. Right, 
this one I got my pen in the way, so I'm gonna take that out. And beyond. All right. That's B, C, D, and E. C. Take my pen out here. There's D. That's my snips. Here's C. And here's B. Okay, start a little bit in front, stitch all the way out. All right, I move the camera and we will open up this next part. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. And we're just gonna fold this over from the outside, turn it over. I'm gonna pop those threads on my third seam, fold that third seam over. That is uh, the purple seam. And I'm gonna line up my ruler, cut away the excess a quarter inch away from the fold. Now we're gonna be working with polka dots. I don't have any scraps cut that will fit, so I'm going to start here. Okay, and face up. I'm going to line up this piece here. Make sure I have a quarter inch all the way around, and I do. I give myself a half an inch of this side. Give that a cut. Yeah, that's weird, and you should not cut towards you. That is a chump move, Sheila. So this piece has, let me double check that. Yeah, half an inch down there. Plenty of space. I'm gonna open it up. Oop, I jostled it a little bit. Line that seam allowance back up. Make my checks again. Open that up and put a pin in it. E. Here's D. We're gonna finger press this out. We've already cut our seam allowance, right? Before the last step, we're gonna pop our extraneous stitches, fold on the purple line, cut our quarter inch seam allowance away from the third seam line. Still too small. Move the right side up. We're going to line this up so that well, that's not going to give us a quarter inch all the way around. So we've got to go this way. Okay, that gives me a little bit more than a quarter of an inch on the bottom. I've lined up this seam. About far more than a quarter inch all the way around here. Give myself a half inch right here. Cut. Open her up and give her a pin. That's D. There's C. Just give this a really sharp finger press. Um, ironing this will give you peace of mind. I, I do recommend that you iron it, okay? But our next part is. Seam C. Again, I'm pulling away my threads so that my paper lays flat. I'm going to use my ruler. Cut away that excess. Then I need a piece of polka dot fabric that will fit under this part. Ooh, and I think this cut piece will fit nicely already. So I'm going to line up the seam allowance so that I can just see it peeking out there and then the folded part is the part I need to check so here at the top I'm going to check by pulling up this gray and that's enough I'm going to check this edge 
that's enough at this corner I can see the fabric so I know that's enough and then here again I'm putting my finger holding it up plenty that was the perfect scrap that worked out great I'm gonna put a pin there and then last but not least is our part D I'm just gonna again just really get that down I'm gonna fold this over I'm gonna gently pop my seams to the fold I'm gonna use my ruler to cut a seam allowance I'm gonna use this polka dot piece and the seam allowance here and I'm gonna give myself just a I'm just gonna eyeball this because I'm getting brave right I'm gonna eyeball this about a half an inch away and then if I take it to that corner there, I know that'll be good. So I'm gonna move it out of the way. I'm gonna go from my mark to the corner. Now this piece should fit. Bam and bam. Open it up and give it a pin. Oop. Try not to stick yourself. <laughs> okay, so these are all ready to sew. So I'm gonna take these to the sewing machine. And when I put it on the machine, uh, before I start stitching, like I'll put the presser foot here, and then I'll start sewing about out here. And then I will leave the needle down and I'll double check that my seams are lined up. Fold this back down and then I'll stitch down the purple line until about here. And that will finish this section up. So I'm gonna do all of these and then I'll be back and we will iron together. Okay, we're back at the sewing machine and we're ready to stitch this part up. So I'm just gonna set this over here and we're sewing. The purple line which is our number three stitch line and see it starts at the top of the paper so don't forget that you're getting all the way to the top of the paper and you want to start your stitching about a quarter inch away so this is going to be out at the edge and I want to make sure that I have plenty of that so that my block is stable snips to cut these apart. There is piece E. This is the green threads. Take my pin out. Piece D. Piece C. B. I'm going to go ahead and cut this excess thread away. All right. Okay, we're back. All of our third seams are sewn. So I've got all of my pieces here. And A1 and A2. So I'm going to start with those two with my ironing and I'm going to iron on the fabric side and just give it a nice hot press without steam because you don't want to warp your paper at this step. So nice hot press 
no steam. So now we're going to do our trimming. We've marked around the uh, outside of each piece that's going to be on the outside of the finished block. So we don't want to trim that, but on A1, we want to trim the other two sides so that they are a quarter inch away from the edge of the paper. So we've completed part two and we have all six parts of our block ready to go. In the next part, we're going to put it all together and complete the block so that uh, you can move on with your quilt or project. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe. Leave comments down below to let me know that it was helpful or not helpful, how I can improve, or if you need more help. Um, and I will see you in part number three.